All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today our topic is very simple, very easy to understand, and you do not need to be a genius to know what's happening. Uh, we heard in the news that a woman, she was arrested for wearing a bikini. But, you know, I mean, the news is very silly, and uh, they presented for you little of the story. This is not about the bikini, this is about Islam. Wherever Islam goes, crazy stuff happen. The funny is that the bikini news is very famous. Suddenly the bikini is in use, number one in use everywhere. But just three days ago, in the Maldives, Islamic terrorists, they attack people walking in the street and they stab them. Australian and two Chinese tourists, they've been attacked and stabbed. But the bikini is the important. I mean, come on, you cannot forbid the bikini. But people dying and killed and stabbing all over, you know. ISIS, by the help of Saudi Arabia as usual, taking over the Maldives. You see, the Saudi... Uh, money, wherever this money goes, ISIS goes. A lot of money. They almost bought every resort in the Maldives. They control the country. They control the government. It's a small, tiny island. I mean, Maldives, don't think that we are talking about really a country. The money of the Saudi, wherever this money goes, terrorism goes with it. 10 billion dollars investment in the Maldives, small tiny island. 10 billion dollars, that's a lot of money. Why they need 10 billion dollars? What they would do with it? They've almost bought the whole island. So if you go right now to the Maldives, you think you are like, uh, you are a tourist and, uh, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful uh, island. I mean, we, nobody can deny that, right? But the fact you are going to Saudi Arabia, the one who controlled the country is the Saudi. And when you go there, now you are risking your life because simply you might be stabbed or even arrested for breaking the Sharia law. The police, after they arrested this woman, they apologized for this woman. Why? Because the news spread all over and the Maldivian government became a joke. And now they are afraid that a lot of tourists, they will not come to this country. So they did not apologize because they did wrong. They apologize because they need your money. You know, always I ask myself, why somebody even want to go to those countries? And I mean, I mean it seriously. If you are an American, in America we have more beautiful than the Maldives Islands. If you are an Asian, you have all the beauty in Asia. If you, have Europe, if you are European, I mean, you have the most beautiful beaches in Europe too. And you do not need to go there. France, they have islands in the Caribbean islands, which mean belong to France. Same as England, same as Netherlands, same as all of them, they have islands in the Caribbean. They belong to them. So why you want to go there? And you need to remember, when you go and visit those countries who support ISIS and terrorism, you are funding them. This is about funding. Because you go there, you spend, it's not for free. I mean, they are not welcoming you for free. You go there hoping to have a good time, which is, you know, the purpose of everybody when he want to go somewhere. I mean, all of us, we go here and there. To refresh our life, to see in nice new places, meet a new culture, etc. But is this the only place you can go to? Go to the Philippines. Poor people, they need your help. 
Filipino are very nice, kind people. Very kind people. I never saw really people are kind as the Filipinos. Never, never. Why people are risking their life? And even the Philippines, by the way, if you go to an is Islamic territory, you are risking your life. Abu Sayyaf and kidnapping and this, wherever Islam goes, garbage goes. As simple as that. Look how, how beautiful the Philippines is, how peaceful it is. But the second you enter an Islamic territory, you have to fear for your life. Kidnapping, kidnapping is the biggest business in Islamic countries. The second you enter a territory, Islam is in it, say bye-bye to peace and welcome fear in your life. This is the Philippine. So what, what the Maldives can do to you, the Philippine cannot do. Very cheap, the Maldives is expensive. Filipino, you know, uh, once I took uh, the Filipino, they have uh, a kind of transportation they call jeepney. Jeepney. Let me see if I can find the picture. Uh, 10 pesos. 10 pesos is the charge for the jeepney. You know, like let's say you are a person who have a very limited budget and you want to be a tourist. In the Philippines, you can, you can do that. 10 pesos is like what? Um, one cent <laughs> for a ride? <laughs> you know, the Filipino pesos uh, is uh, one dollar is 50. One dollar is 50. It's like paying 20 cents for a ride. Imagine. And for sure, if you want to live in a fancy places, you want to have fancy hotel, fancy apartment, that's a different story. You will find expensive stuff, depending who you are and how much you want to spend. But at the end of the day, I can go and live between the Filipinos. I don't really fear for my life. They are very kind people, very nice people. And I'm talking specifically about living between the Christians. I cannot say the same about if I go and live. I'm not saying all the Muslims will do that to you, but it's enough to have five members of ISIS between a thousand Muslim to have fear for your life. That's it. You know what I mean? Let us say there's 1,000 Muslims and they are wonderful people. But there's only five in the town. Five belong to ISIS or belong to Al-Qaeda or they believe in Allah and they want to practice Jihad. That's it. So if you want to do tourism, you have to be smart. Stupid tourist, you might end dead. Even in the Philippines or any country in the world, if you are a stupid tourist, you will end dead. There's a places, use your common sense. Don't go to places where it's dangerous. I see many YouTubers, female YouTubers, they go and they take naked pictures in the beach, even in the Philippines. Are you crazy? Are you stupid or what? What if somebody crazy, he, he target you, you know? What's wrong with those people? So they put themselves in danger just to make a YouTube and they can have a high number of subscribers or a high number of uh, viewers. A woman, she died because she want to take a selfie. She's a YouTuber. So, you know, anything we do in life, it's about intelligence. When you are a fool, you are a fool. You will be doomed. Yeah, and the Philippine, you will find adobo. This is the most important thing, the adobo. <laughs> yeah, but you know, the most important thing is that when you go to a place, and I, I'm, you know, I'm being honest with you. I mean, Filipinos are not my family. I mean, I'm not a Filipino. I never saw a country as nice and kind as the Philippines. However, in the Philippines, there is a criminals, there is bad, and there is good. So you have to be careful. There is a scammers, there is a fraud, 
there is uh, uh, you know gold diggers uh, there is a uh, you know good women there is bad women you have to be careful wherever you go but at least in the philippine uh, generally speaking you will not find somebody targeting you just because you are from different belief they might target you because you are rich you know you are being stupid you show that you have a lot of money in your wallet you know as an example uh, and this is can happen to anyone anywhere in the world you know you go in the store you open your wallet and you show like a couple of hundred of dollars and there's a criminal there he target you actually i remember once in the philippines i uh, i went to a restaurant it's not a restaurant it's like a, f a fast food you know cheap uh, it's called uh, uh, I, I don't know remember it's uh, mcdonald or jilibi i think it was jilibi so anyway uh, i took my wallet and uh, i paid for the uh, for the meal and then i went to my table then after that a lady she came to me and she said sir what is your name i look at her i said why are you asking me I said i like to know i said i'm not interested i thought she is maybe a prostitute or something i said to her she is young she is like maybe uh, 23 i don't know like very young uh, I said, I'm not interested. She said, no, 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 you know, I need to know your name. I said, I told you I'm not interested. Uh, she said, but I need to know your name. What's your name? I said, why you want to know my name? So I look at the, at the counter, you know, hoping for help from those in the uh, uh, restaurant so somebody can talk to her and get her away from me. And then she said, I found something. The second she said, I found something, I, I felt, uh oh, I, I look for my wallet, you know, I, I can feel it. It's not in my back pocket. So I know that she found my wallet. So I told her my name. She opened the wallet. She looked. She said, okay, this is yours then. Not a single penny was taken from my wallet. And I have all the money, which is for my trip inside, which is enough to be maybe equal for her salary for six or maybe a year, six months or a year. She did not take a penny. And she is a Filipino and she is very poor. Then I told her, uh, okay, you know what, hold on. Let me give you something as a reward. She, she said, no, 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 I don't want anything. And she left. I, I, I followed her. I said, just wait. Let me give you something. Thank you very much. I mean, you, you, you do not know how much you did, you did to me now because I have my ID. I have a, a, a lot of stuff. She said, uh, uh, no, 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 no. And she keep running. And then I, I stopped her. I said, wait, wait, wait. Why you don't want to take, you know, just let me, I'm, I'm giving it to you. You did not take it. I'm giving it to you from me as a gift to you. And she started crying. She said, why? You think you are Filipinos? We don't uh, do good stuff unless you pay us. This is the Philippine. But not necessarily everybody in the Philippines would do that to you. So I'm saying to you, the Philippine is a very beautiful country. Uh, many countries are good to go. Me, myself, I will not. I have nothing against a person just because he's a Muslim. But I know that Islam have a problem. Islam teach that you are, if you are not a, not a Muslim, you are a target. They want to do jihad on you. So not every Muslim want to do that. But if I do not need every Muslim to do that to put my life at risk, it's enough. Like I remember once in radio station, they said only 10% of Muslims, they support terrorism. Well, 10%, if we have, according to the Muslims now, they say they are 1.6 billion. So according to you, the stupid left who is defending Islam, saying only 10% support terrorism, that's mean we have 160 million terrorists. Can you believe it? Only 10%. So if we go to a town, and this town have 100,000 Muslims, 90,000 of them are wonderful. Okay. And there's 10,000 are ISIS. Should I relax? So you go to the Maldives to do what exactly? Obviously, the Maldives is going out of control. And as you see, they start stabbing foreigners who they are coming to visit the country. The Saudi money, wherever it goes, terrorism goes with it. It's not a secret. 
all Islamic schools who is teaching terrorism is sponsored by the Saudi and Qatar. <clears throat> So if you want to go and have good time, you have to be wise where you go. Number one, you should not go to countries who support terrorism because by doing that you are sponsoring terrorism. Your money will go at the end of the day in the pocket of the terrorist. When you buy drugs actually you are supporting terrorists. Do you know that? All the drugs, you know there's many people think uh, buying drugs it's just about me getting high. No, it's you. It's you arming terrorists. All the money of Taliban and Al-Qaeda in Syria, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, all of it, it's coming from drugs. Why Qatar? Qatar is the biggest sponsor for terrorism. All the money of Al-Qaeda is coming from Qatar. And right now, as we speak, Qatar is funding every fighter of Al-Qaeda in Syria, and the NATO is supporting Al-Qaeda right now as we speak. Turkish, they launched an attack against the Syrian army, which is fighting Al-Qaeda. I mean, have you ever heard of such a, a, a irony? The European, they say, we are against Al-Qaeda. We don't want them. They are bad. They are ugly. And when the Assad regime, which is a dictator, you know, he attack Al-Qaeda, suddenly the NATO want to protect Al-Qaeda. And they said to Erdogan, we are with you. All of us, we knew that Erdogan is a Muslim Brotherhood and he sponsored Al-Qaeda with Qatar. We have enough evil in this earth. And the NATO is organization of evil from time to time. You know, I never saw this NATO doing something good for the benefit of anyone. They attacked the Christians in Serbia. They attacked the Christians in Syria. They attacked the Christians in Egypt. They attack always they stand with the evil one. They never stand with anyone who is discriminated. This is the NATO. And now Erdogan is launching war to protect Al-Qaeda and NATO is taken side by Erdogan. They should pay the Assad money to finish his attack. Even though he's a dictator, he's a criminal, he is what he is. But okay, they are, but he is fighting criminals. Look like I'm using my, uh, my internet speed is not doing good. So I'm not going to stay long. I just wanted to share this with you. Sound is cutting. Yeah, I think because the internet is going down. So I'm going to finish here and I advise everybody, please be smart when you go and you want to have fun. You want to go and visit different country. Don't be a fool. Don't be stupid. And don't let the, the advertising world take over you. There's many beautiful countries in the earth. They deserve uh, more and they are better for you. Thank you very much, guys. I apologize. The internet is going bad, maybe. So you might have a cutting voice and enter will see you again. May the Lord bless you. I will try to come back at night tonight. And by then, until then, Christ is Lord. And he is the only one we can trust from this evil, disgusting world. Thank you. Take care.